bacon? Where's the bacon? I smell bacon. 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 Gotta be bacon. Only one thing smells like bacon. That's bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. There. Chewy, yummy, smoky bacon. There you go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 no. It's bacon. Well, with that clip, can you guys guess? Today on Two Grades of Kitas, we're going to make bacon. And we will get started right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So when I was a kid, that commercial from the begging strips, it was all over the place. Same here. And honestly, I've always felt that way about bacon. Yeah. So we figured what a better way to introduce today's video was then the Beggin commercial. Bacon! So yeah, today we're going to make our own bacon. And I do want to say that we have talked about doing this for a long time. Anthony actually came to us one day and said, like, let's make our own bacon. That was going to be a lot more involved. We thought it was super complicated, and we've talked about it on a couple of our videos. And finally, I wanted to give a little shout out one of our subscribers, which is Christopher, also known as Slapastic on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sent me the instructions on how he makes his bacon. So I started doing some research and uh, changed things up a little bit. And we made our own bacon. And it is amazing. It is amazing. And we were shocked how easy it is to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. For real? It is that easy. Like, I was shocked at how easy it is, and you only need a couple of things. So I don't want to kill anybody. Do you want to get into how to do this? Yes. Now, the one thing that you do need that is the most precious is time. Ooh. To get this right, you need about 7 to 14 days. But I'm not always very patient when it well, comes to bacon. We can't take 14 days to make this video. So we have already started one. So you're going to see a couple of different pieces of pork belly. But let's get into, first of all, what we need to make it. The first thing we obviously need is a pork belly. Does that look amazing? So this is about a seven pound pork belly. Um, it actually was nine pounds, but I cut two pounds of it off because we're going to use a piece of it for Christmas, just for breakfast. Just Merry pork Christmas belly. to me. Uh, but I got this at Costco and the entire seven pound pork belly was, uh, well, the nine pound pork belly was $21. Which is very reasonable. That's really reasonable, especially bacon when you consider cheap. we're going to get that much bacon out of this. And you can slice it however you want. Yeah. So that's the first thing we obviously need is we need some pork belly. Then we only need three other ingredients. Okay. We're going to need some salt because we're going to cure it. Redmond. Okay. Now this is kosher salt, but actually you can also use regular salt, but we're going to use the kosher salt. Now I do want to say we are going to do a salt, a salt rub. Mm -hmm. You can also do this with a liquid brine. Oh, okay. I just, I like salt rubs. I don't want to have to soak it in liquid, but you can do that. If you look on the internet, there's plenty of recipes for it. All you're going to do is change out the sugar or the maple syrup to like a keto friendly thing. Okay. Next thing we're going to need is some sugar. But obviously we can't use sugar, sugar. Okay. So we're going to use the Lakanto brown monk fruit uh, granular. So it's going to be like a maple brown sugar yeah. type. Yeah. Well, taste. not maple, just brown sugar. We're just going to okay. use brown sugar. But you could use the regular erythritol. You could use allulose. We're going to use the brown for, yeah, more of that maple kind of flavor. Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing you're going to need, and this is the one that's going to raise everybody's eyebrows, is we're going to need some pink curing salt, which it does contain nitrites. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I have researched it. I was one of those people that was running around going, I'm trying to find nitrate-free bacon, nitrate-free bacon. Dr. Barry has a great video, and I'm going to link that right up here. Don't worry about eating nitrate, nitrate bacon. Don't worry about it. It's not going to kill you. First of all, there is a very small amount in this entire slab. 
Second of all, like he said, we've been eating this way for hundreds and thousands of years and they've got it figured out. Like it's such a small amount. Don't worry about it. Well, and here's another like reason to make your own. You can control it. Yeah. Now, if you don't want nitrates or nitrates, you can actually make your own. I have research how to do it. I'm just not bothering. Um, the one thing is it will look very different. I can tell you as somebody who has bought nitrate and nitrite free bacon, it's kind of like got a brownish color. It does. It, it, it looks actually old, even though it's not. It also doesn't last as long in your refrigerator because you haven't cured it with nitrates or nitrites. Right. Okay, so those are the only three ingredients we need. Wow. Now, the only other thing, now what you're gonna do is you're going to have to have a scale. Okay. Because you need to be precise with this. And then you're going to, at the end of the whole stage, you're going to smoke it. And there's two different ways you can smoke it. If you have a regular smoker, which is the way we're going to do it, uh, we're gonna hot smoke it. Okay. If you don't have a hot smoker, you can actually cold smoke it as well. Fancy. Um, we'd like to do the cold smoking, but to cold smoke properly, you have to be in a temperature under 75 degrees. Good luck. A little difficult to do down here in South Florida. Now you can do it with Wish ice and all that other stuff, but I got news for you. The ice in that smoker, it's going to melt so quickly. I'm not right now. We're just going to go with the hot smoke and we enjoyed it this way anyway. So, mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't have a smoker, Okay. Okay. You can actually use a barbecue grill with some indirect heat. I'm not going to get into that and go do watch. There's plenty of videos on how to do indirect heat in a barbecue grill. Um, and you get one of these little things. There's also a tube one, but this is a maze. It's like an organizational tray. This is great for, for tiny cold forks. smoking. I'll leave a link for it down below. And what's nice about the maze one, even though it's about uh, $10 more than the tube ones, is this one will give you smoke for up to 14 hours. Dude. What you're going to do is you're going to put either sawdust or little pellets, like from a pellet smoker, and you put it in there and you light the one end. See the little hole right there? Oh, yeah. And what happens is it slowly travels. Now, if you don't have a smoker at all, it's real simple. Put this inside of a cardboard box with it lit. Just put it like a piece of foil underneath Amazing. it or a little pan or in a cooler that you can crack open so a little bit of smoke can get in. Then you're going to put your cured pork belly in there, and then this will actually put all of the smoke in there. Wow. That's cold smoking. So no heat. The only heat is coming off of this. This is like a science project. So uh, I'll, again, leave a link for this. Now, if you have a hot smoker or a regular smoker, you can also do hot smoking, which is how we're going to do it. Okay. So, okay. So that's all you're going to need. So now what we're going to do is you're going to use a calculator or... Uh, Slap a stick. Math? Slap a stick actually gave me a little website that will do this for you. Okay. okay. I like well, that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your um, pork belly and you're gonna weigh it out and convert it to grams. Okay. okay. So you're gonna go pounds to grams. Uh, I already did that. I don't remember the exact seven pounds of grams. It's about thirty five hundred grams or something like that. All right. Okay. From that, we're going to use our curing salt and we're gonna use a quarter of a percent. Oh. So whatever the grams of this is, you're going to use a quarter of a percent of so this. So it's not like you're dumping a bag of that on no. there. No. So, and again, there's a calculator, which I'm going to link down below that will do all of this for you. You put in there how much your pork belly weighs, and then it's going to tell you exactly how much of this to use. Okay. So we're going to use a quarter percent of this. We're going to use 2% of our salt mm -hmm. and then one percent of our sweetener now if you don't want to use the sweetener you don't have to but i like a sweeter bacon i just know it was delicious and remember it's going to burn off a little bit as well so you ready in my mouth so i've already done it we've got this here this is seven pounds and this is what we're talking about so we've got we're going to take a little bowl we're going to push this to the side so that you can do this all right okay so we've got that move let's take a bowl here because we're going to mix together all of our curing salts now, this is what I'm talking about. This is the nitrates. All right. Okay, this is a pink curing salt. And you can see in there, if you can look in there, that's not a lot for that giant pork belly. No. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dump that in there. Then we're going to take our salt, which is 2%. Look at that Redmond Red salt. And that's salt. about 60%, uh, 60 grams of salt. It looks like it's salt and pepper because of the minerals. Yep, we're going to dump that in there. And then we're going to take our sugar. Mm. And again, that's a 1%. You've got about 35 grams of, sh of your sweetener in there. And you can go ahead now and just mix it all up. Make sure it gets all well combined. 
What fun colors. Are you good? Yeah. Okay, so let's put this off to the side. Let's move this out of the way. Next up, gloves. Definitely. We're gonna be massaging this gentleman. Now, honestly, it, I never wear gloves. I just wash my hands. Well, I wash my hands a lot, uh, but it makes it a little bit easier, especially for doing the videos. No exams. Next. Who's next? Okay. Okay, ready? So we're gonna pull this back over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to rub down our pork belly. Now what I'm gonna do I is I'm gonna take a knife. This is kind of optional, okay. but this is the fat layer. All right. So I'm just gonna put some slices in here. And what does that do? Well, what it's gonna allow us to do is get some cure into here. Oh. Just All helps, the way it helps it penetrate a little bit more. You don't have to do this. But I kind of do this with any time I'm like putting salt in a rub on like some of my meats. Now we're just going to take the salt. Okay. You're going to sprinkle it in and you're going to rub it in really well. Now remember, we have to have enough for both sides. Right. So I'm trying to spread it a little. And then so I'm... just, well, let's put about half of that. So I'll put it in. So are you on here on business or pleasure, sir? Just make sure it gets rubbed all in. Are we doing well. like this? Yep. Just rub it in. I'm trying to rub him the way I would want to be rubbed. My <laughs> like bad. Like a deep massage. It's been a long day for this guy. Okay, ready? Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll just kind of sprinkle it in and you can rub it in. Now what I like to do is kind of spread it all around first and then you can rub it into the little cracks and stuff. Nice. I know somebody will probably say that I'm actually helping you rub it in, but. Sorry. I'm trying to do it all by myself. <laughs> Just make sure you get it all rubbed in well and try to get all of the areas. Little nooks and crannies. Don't want to ignore anybody. You've done good, little pork belly. We promise to savor you. Okay, you done? Yes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this actually is going to have to go in the refrigerator and cure for a couple weeks. So we have another one that we've already been curing. That's what we're going to finish up the video. But one thing I wanted to do is... When we made the first batch, Anthony was like, you know what I really like on there is some pepper. Oh, like So the what we're going to do with this one flavor. is I'm just going to take some fresh black pepper and we're just going to grate a little bit of that and put it over the top. Nice. So not too much. It would just maybe give it a little bit of a flavor and then you can rub that in. You could put as much or as little as you want, or you could put other seasonings. You could put some cayenne pepper on there. Well, here's the thing. Some orange zest. Once you've got one done, you immediately want to have another one yeah. ready to go. Because you are looking at, you know, seven to tw seven days to 14 days, depending on how long you're gonna keep. So cure. you tweak it up along and along, right? Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to put this inside of like a vacuum bag or a Ziploc bag. Now, if this whole thing doesn't fit in there, just cut it into a couple of pieces. But okay. we're gonna make this whole thing fit in here, and then I'm gonna go vacuum seal, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so here is our pork belly. I did it. Now you can see we've got all of the salt rub on there. It's on both sides. It's in our vacuum seal bag. Now what we're gonna do is this is gonna go in the refrigerator. You're gonna just put it in your refrigerator anywhere in the back, anything you want like that. Just put it down, keep it flat if you can. All right. And then every day, we're just gonna go and turn it over, kind of massage it a little bit. Aww. That's gonna keep working that cure. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna develop some liquids in there, which is gonna become like a brine. And every day we're just gonna keep doing that for seven to 10 days. I might not be able to eat him because we're like making a relationship. I gotta rub him every day and turn him over, check on him. <sighs> Let me go put this in the refrigerator and then we'll start part two. Part two. This is after you've been waiting for seven to 14 days and you've been patiently every day going out and massaging your meat. And that sounds so bad. Sorry. <laughs> and making sure that everything is nice and cured. This is what we're gonna be left with. Now you can immediately feel if you just start pressing a little bit, it's oh, harder, yeah. right? It's not super soft and that's what you're looking for. You're looking to have a hardness in the meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this piece open and then we're gonna take it over to the sink and just kind of rinse it off. 
You can even soak it in water. And what we want to do at that point is just make sure, I know we don't have any gloves on, but what you want to do is just make sure you don't have any little caked in salt because that's obviously going to add flavor. Now, if you like salt, don't worry about it. But if you go ahead and feel this a little bit, feel how much tougher it is. It's oh a much my, tougher piece of meat. It feels like a steak. That is, comes from the curing process. Okay. So let me go rinse this off and then we're going to go put it on the smoker. All right. Okay, so the pork belly's all rinsed off. It is ready to go in the smoker. No more weight. No more weight. Well, a little bit of weight. The first thing you have to do is you want to take some paper towels and dry it off. Okay. Now, if you look online, some people actually like to take the pork belly now, put it on like a cookie graph, and then stick it back into the refrigerator, open air like this. Don't wrap it or anything like that. Right. To get it to dry even more. How long? Another 24 hours. Do I have to wait? No. So everything that I saw in my research that number one, people do that, especially when they're doing cold smoking, because you're not going to have the heat to dry it. Uh, and also a lot of people said it doesn't really make a difference. We were super happy with the result of not doing that with the first round. So we're not going to do it this time either. I want my bacon. So now we're going to, we're going to take this out to our smoker, which is already going. We've got it set on 190 degrees. We are going to put a meat probe in here. So let me grab the meat probe right here. The meat probe. Almost forgot about that portion. And what we're going to do here, set it up on the grill. Mm -hmm. We want to smoke it until it's 150 degrees internal temperature. Okay. It should take about two to three hours. Let's do this. I feel like I'm lion kinging this guy. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we've got our pit boss smoker on here. Look at that nice smoke. We're going to go in there and we're going to go fat side up. Just lay it in there. And then you're going to take that and you're going to plug it in right down there. So the internal temperature is currently 64 degrees. So we'll close this up. Have a and nice little rest. In three hours, you'll have bacon. Yes. Okay, we're back. It's been three hours, smoked it to 150 degrees. We've let it sit for about an hour and uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Gorgeous. Boy, that overhead shot is the picture. Yes. That's what you want it to look like. So this is our slab of bacon. Caleb actually came home and he's like, do you have a slab of bacon there? We do. We do. So let's go ahead and slice into this. Now the very ends you're gonna see here, I'll just kind of pick it up. You can see they kind of funny shape. That's the part that everybody uses to make like bacon ends Chop where you up. just cut them up into little pieces. We'll just kind of cut that off and then we can they chop it up They never make later. me upset. Okay. And you can slice this however thin or thick you want it. Yeah, now we are just gonna hand slice it. We do have a slicer. The problem is, is this is bigger than what our slicer is. What a great problem to have. Now, when we do have bacon, we actually do like to have it a little bit thicker. So we're just gonna go through and slice this up a little bit. But you may want your bacon thin. Look at that. It's, I mean, mouthwatering. Look really. at that bacon. Can you see that? Just Look at that. Gorgeous. I mean, you can tell like the smoke, right? It has the color of smoked meat. Now you could actually eat this just like this. This is cooked. smoked. It's cooked to 150 degrees, but of course we want our bacon Crunchy. crispy. So we're going to take a couple of these pieces. We're going to go fry them up and we will be right back for the taste test. Okay, so we have cut up the entire slab of bacon. Looks so good. Look at the amount of bacon that we have. We've got some bacon ends here, and that's great for if you're going to make your chili, throw that in there. You can cut it up a little bit more. Put it in the air fryer. Or you can just take this nice piece of fat and try that. Good night. Good night, everybody. Wow. 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 Nothing better than a nice piece of bacon fat. Seriously. What other diet lifestyle can you live on where you can eat bacon fat and be healthy? Happy New Year. So, okay. So we took two pieces. We fried them up. We like it super crispy. We do. So this is the taste test. And this is exactly how we like it. You can see it looks just like regular bacon, except for we've made it ourselves. Wow. It's not regular. It tastes so much better. I mean, you can tell when something is fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just crazy. And this good. is the exact thickness, how we like it. But you can make it as thin as you want. Right. Just steady hand and a super sharp knife.
Mm. We're going to put that off to the side so I can enjoy it. Wow. I'm just going to keep eating this meat candy. <laughs> well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Let us know if you were surprised how easy this was to do. I don't think you realized how easy it was going to do, right? I feel like face palming. What in the world have we been doing with this last year? Right. If we just knew how easy it was, we'd be making bacon all the time. Yeah. I mean, it really is that simple. It's three ingredients and a pork belly and just figuring out the right ratios. And even that, you can adjust. Some people want it a little bit saltier. They can add a little bit more salt. You can add a little bit more of your sugar. And this, we did the keto version using you know, granular erythritol, brown erythritol, but you could actually use some of like the Lakanto monk fruit, um, the uh, maple syrup, the Lakanto maple syrup. Yeah, because this isn't super sweet. No. I really, it, it tastes just like bacon, smoked meat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you can put anything you want, some cayenne pepper, you can kick it up with a little bit of orange zest, any kind of seasonings you want to have on the outside, it's all going to come out great. Mm. So we do want to say a special thank you to uh, Christopher the Slap -a Stick for kind of pointing us in the right direction and telling us how easy it was for us to make this. God bless you, sir. And I can promise this. We will never, ever buy store-bought bacon again. No. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we make something like bacon, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.